In this MapSuite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how to get a length of a feature. So if we take a look at this sample, you'll see some just basic street data being displayed here. And this is just rendered from a shape file. And I can click on any one of these street segments. And a pop-up will show up showing the street name and its length in meters. So this can be useful if in your application you've got a lot of uh, you know, line features and you want to get a length of how long they are to, to show to your user and calculate that length for, you know, for other reasons as well. So let's take a look at the code to see how you can implement this. To get started, let's take a look at the view source. And we've got a JavaScript block here and then we've got uh, some HTML for a description. Then down here is where we're setting up the map and uh, by default we're just adding the map to the page and you know, setting its current extent. And Then we've got an overlay here where we're going to add a shape file. Uh, feature layer and this is using our uh, Austin street shape file so these are just some um, streets in Austin Texas and and giving it a style of of road and saying we want to display it um, all accordingly so after we add that uh, overlay we come down here and we we want to label some of the streets as well so we add an, we add the shape file feature layer again um, and set up a text style on it um, based on the FE name column so some of the uh, the roads will be labeled on our map as well to give the user some guidance that way. There's many different ways to label uh, shape files. You could actually add a text style on this as well, but um, I would invite you to look at some of the labeling how do I videos for more information on specifically labeling. And then on this section here, we're creating a, a street layer, a new memory feature layer, and this is just going to hold our uh, um, basically the feature when the user clicks on it to highlight that road. So by default, we don't have any features in this since it's just an in-memory feature layer, but when the user clicks on it, we're going to go ahead and add um, the feature to this layer so it'll be rendered with these, these colors here and has uh, the effect of highlighting that street um, that they clicked on. And we add that overlay to the map. And then down here, we also add a, a cloud pop-up, an information pop-up that will auto-size, but by default, it's turned off. So this will be available for us. Uh, once the user clicks on a street so we can make that visible and, and um, add any information to it that we'd like. And then down here, this is on the on-client click, so it's telling the, uh, the map control when somebody clicks the map, we want to call this JavaScript. So we're going to call the map click um, um, routine, JavaScript routine, once somebody clicks on the map. And then finally we just render the, the, the page out and the map out. So that's how the uh, application is loaded and what's all set up at startup. Um, once the user clicks the map, this JavaScript function here would be executed. And uh, within that, we're going to get an event argument. Um, but first, we're going to get a reference to the pop-up we set up when we loaded the map or loaded the sample. And then we're going to go ahead and get the longitude and latitude um, off the event argument that's passed in here of where the user clicked. So this will tell us, you know, where they clicked on the map so we can then do a spatial query and find out you know exactly what street it is and eventually get the the distance or the length of that that street segment as well okay now that we know where the user clicked the next thing we need to do is go to the server and um, do that query and uh, find out the length so we're gonna do a, an Ajax call action and tell it what controller we want and also what uh, method we want within that controller. In this case, we're going to use get length of feature. And we're going to pass in a few parameters to that method, the longitude and latitude where the user clicked. And then we're telling, uh, telling it through this JavaScript 2 once we're done uh, to come back here so we can redraw the map and display the pop-up and also set the content of the pop-up with whatever we get back from the server. So that's pretty much it on the client side. So let's go look at the server side where most of the work is being done. So we're going to click on the controller source here. And you can see we've got our get length of a feature um, method. And down here we are getting a point shape or creating a new point shape based upon the arguments passed in. So that's again where the user clicked on the map. We're creating a point shape here. Then we're getting a reference to um, our road layer that represents those Austin streets um, and then we're getting a reference to our in-memory feature layer is so once we get the uh, the street that was clicked on we can add another feature to it and highlight it so that gives the user a visual cue of exactly what that that street segment is made up with. So now uh, we go ahead and open that uh, street layer 
and we do a, uh, a git feature to nearest to. So since it's a line, you know, lines can be very narrow um, and for, as a geometry, so we want to actually get the, the nearest street to where the user was clicked. And we're going to do that by doing the query tools off of that street shape file. We're going to pass in the point of where the user clicked and then the unit that um, um, the uh, that the data is in and then we're going to tell it how many features we want to return. In this case we just want to uh, get the, the nearest feature so we're only going to return one. If you wanted to return the five nearest you would change that to five or you know ten or accordingly. And then here's where we're defining what uh, column or tabular data we want to get on that feature. You know I typically just say all columns but in this case we've uh, said we just want to get the um, the FE name which represents the street name. So that's going to return us this, uh, this selected features collection that only holds the one feature representing the street that was clicked on. So once we have that, uh, we're going to come down in this section here and find out the length of that, that street feature. So uh, this part here is just building up uh, or emptying out the, the content HTML that we're going to display in the pop-up. And we're going to make sure that, in fact, we did find a street near where the, the user clicked and then we uh, go ahead and get that feature out of there by using the get shape and create a, a line based shape. So we know that we're dealing with streets so we go ahead and convert that uh, feature not convert but get the shape out of the feature and uh, put it in this line shape variable. And then here's where we're actually getting the length and since uh, it's a line based shape type of uh, um, geometry here we have the get length method and we're basically all we do is tell it what uh, what unit the data is in so in this case it's in decimal degrees and then what unit we want the length out of and in this case it's meters but of course you could do kilometers or miles or you know inches or millimeters or centimeters or whatever you're wanting to use for your distance unit in this case we're using meters uh, to show how many meters long the street is but a lot of cases you want to use a different type of uh, distance unit then once we have that, we're just going to build up the uh, HTML that we're going to display in the pop-up um, through this code here. And then uh, also add the uh, um, add the, the street or the line shape that we found where the user clicked to that uh, street layer, in memory feature layer, so it's highlighted on the map. And then return that uh, HTML back to the client. So that gives that result of, of basically this, that highlighted street that's in the in-memory feature layer and then our pop-up with the street name and then also the uh, the dis or the length of the meters so this can be very helpful when you're dealing with uh, um, you know lines to get the length um, I hope this uh, walkthrough has been helpful please feel, feel, feel free to contact us if you have any questions or you can also post them on our discussion forums at thankyou.com forums thank you for watching